Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss about envelope of motion or function. And this diagram is maybe looking at this diagram, it may look quite confusing, but it's very, very easy to understand if you look at the jaw movement. So I'm going to try and explain you the diagram and what are these border movements. So let's look at the first point in diagram, which is ICP. So if you close your teeth and you are um, in ICP position, the, in the diagram, that's where you are, you are. Now, if you move your jaw forward in protrusive movement, your jaw will go downwards. And you can see in diagram that the downward line. And now you're on edge to edge position where the next corner is. Now, if you open your, if, from the edge to edge position, if you move your jaw further forward, it will go a little bit forward and then it will go up and it will go still a bit more forward. And that's the number three, uh, where the number three is. You can see that from edge to edge, the jaw is going forward in straight line, then going a little bit up um, because that's how the mandible will go. And then it will still go a little bit more forward and it will reach the end where you can't go further forward than that. Then if you open your mouth, that's your uh, anterior uh, opening border, that's number two. And then when you close your teeth, you will see first translation movement. And then at number one, the jaw will start rotating inwards. And once jaw is rotating, that's in pure rotation movement. What will happen is patient will contact the teeth in CO, that's the first point of contact. And then the teeth will slide forward and come into ICP. And that's forward and upward. So as we discussed in previous video, you have a slide where you have a horizontal and vertical co uh, component, and that's what's happening. So this slope could be steeper or shallower depending on the, the, the slide, but from CO, you're going into ICP, and then you repeat the whole circle. And that's really <coughs> is your border movement. So if you have done all this border movement, your jaw cannot go beyond the anterior or posterior border or superior border. So this is a border movement. Now, you usually you don't open and close like this. These are just the border movement. If you see number four, that's kind of your envelope of function. So usually when you're functioning, you're talking, when you're eating, your, you, your jaw is going into that motion. And that is envelope of function, envelope of motion. And this is what that diagram is about. So I hope this tag, I've done a good job in explaining you. Uh, if you if you want, please watch the video again. But this is what it ma uh, makes sense. So the reason we wanted to assess this um, is, or when we want to assess is to make sure that our border movement when we're doing any restoration is not beyond this envelope of motion or envelope of function because patient will not be able to do that kind of movement. And that's really the point of it. And again, if you assess patient's envelope of motion, you can see that there is a steeper uh, or restricted envelope of motion and you will be able to study better um, by assessing this border movement. So I hope this video clarified what this diagram is about. And as I said, if you want, just rewatch the video and you will understand what this diagram is about to, um, what is telling you. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. If you want to learn more about full master reconstruction uh, for GDPs, I have a, uh, a Facebook group. Please feel free to join a Facebook group called Full Master Reconstruction for GDPs where I put on more information and we have a case discussion. And I hope that helps you in your clinical day-to-day -day practice.